Hello everyone, this is Akhil. Welcome to Adaptive Electronics. In this session, we are going to discuss about shortage for the routing. Basically, it's a static routing algorithm that just finds the shortest path. Uh, shortest path routing may discussed in plain sheet of paper or graph. When we represent in a graph, a graph is used to represent the network. Each node of graph is represents an router. Each arc of the router represents a communication link. To choose the route between given pairs of routers, the algorithm just finds the shortest path between them on a graph. What are the merits of the shortest path by we choose short for routing? Uh, we have some of the merits that is number of hopes, geographic distance in miles and kilometers, transmission delay and the fastest path. Uh, when we discuss about the uh, shortest path routing, the algorithm which comes to our mind is the extra algorithm. Uh, let's look into detail. Each arc is labeled with a weight, that is linking distance. Each node is labeled with the distance from the source node along the western path and the source node. Initially, no paths are known. All nodes except the source are labeled as infinity come minus. All labels may be either tentative or permanent. Initially, the labels are tentative. When it is discovered to be shortest possible path, the label is made permanent and never be changed thereafter. Uh, let's look at some of the examples of a shortest path routing to understand the concept of the shortest path routing. Uh, example, find the shortest path from A to D. And uh, according to my knowledge, I have made some of the shortest path from A to D. See, these are the A, B, C are the routers and uh, these arrows represents the working node in the very possible path and uh, these are some of the possible shortest path from A to D where the routing can be takes place these are represented in graph sheets to estimate the routing in miles and kilometers uh, we start out by making node at A indicated by filled in a circle. From the A, it can be the shortest path from A is B and G, and some of the pockets are same. From B to E, B to B and G sends to E, and from B to C, some of the seven seven packet can be sent, and from C to D the closer loop in the closer loop the routing is text placed and we get some of the network in that area this is the closer loop area represents the distance uh, uh, we can assume that uh, it can be three four or three four miles and these are the uh, routing shortest path i have made make it possible this arrow represents the working node uh, in that in that, uh, in that uh, path the routing is work without any error and this is all about the shortest part routing this node becomes a new working node repeat the steps then the distribution becomes permanent uh, this are uh, this can be weighed as a balance when it get a uh, without any errors when the errors are not found this can be made permanent Thanks for watching video.